All right, gang, here we go in a new computer art tutorial. And what we're going to do today is fill text with a picture and then add a little glowing kind of edge to the outer edge of it. So let's go ahead and get started here in Pixlr E. So Pixlr E, we're going to click Create New, choose Full HD, and I like to call this Project Fill Text. And we'll click Create. So I'll zoom out just a step here. And what we're going to want to do first is think of a word or a phrase of maybe two words that you want to fill with a picture and then choose or find a picture to fill it with. And so I already had a picture queued up here that I had taken of my trip to Alaska. And so I'm going to click on first my type tool and hit uh, anywhere on the screen um, to add text. I want to add a text layer and I'm just going to type in all caps Alaska. And then I'm going to kind of center up the text a little bit. And now I'm going to double click it in order to change the font type. And so we'll want to make sure the type tool is selected here. And then we can choose our fonts. So up here we have font types right here. You want to choose something pretty bold for this. I think the Molot text the type uh, font was what I had thought fit for the word Alaska as well. So look through the fonts, find something kind of bold. Um, the color, we will, I'll change it to white for now, but it actually doesn't really matter what color it is. And then the size, I put it up to about 300. I think that's a pretty good way to fill um, for this um, size space that I'm working with. Um, you know, maybe it could go up just a little bit higher, but maybe not too much. Um, so find the right size uh, text for, you know, your whatever word or a couple of words you're choosing. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the text. Now I want to bring in my photo. So whatever photo you're choosing, you do a Google image search and find a photo that goes well inside your word. And then you're going to want to copy it. And then we'll go over to Pixlr again and hit Command V to paste it or Control V if you're on your Chromebook. And now I just want to take this picture. It looks like I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit because it's bigger than the space here. Take this picture. Oh, cancel. I still had my type tool selected. That's why. <laughs> so I want to take this picture and I do want to shrink it down. So I'm going to pull on the corner here with my arrow tool and make sure that this is big enough where it fits over the word. And I can go ahead and drag this layer behind it just to kind of make sure that it will fit in there. So um, the other thing that I did with my text before was I, um, what we'll want to do is rasterize it in order to stretch it out. I kind of want to stretch it out so I get the mountains included and this American flag included because you'll notice just the regular text width, I can't really get both of those in it well at the same time. So what I want to do is rasterize this text layer. So with your text layer selected, we'll want to go to layer and then down to rasterize text element. And what that does is it turns it into basically like a, a picture. You can't edit or change what this text says now, but we can do other things with it like stretch it. So I'm going to go to my edit uh, menu and go to uh, free transform. And then I'm just going to pull this from the top here so I can stretch it so that I make sure I can get all the parts of this picture that I want to include, like the mountains and the American flag, and maybe even a little bit of clouds at the top. So that looks pretty good. And then what I want to do is click anywhere, and then it'll ask if you want to apply your transformation. We can say yes. And then all simply what we'll want to do is uh, change the layer style of this text. So if we click on the three dots here, and we'll go to blend modes here, and just go all the way to the bottom and choose mask. And you'll see what that does is it crops the image to fit inside of your text. All right. And then what we'll need to do in order to add the background, important stuff we have to do here is we need to merge these two layers together. OK, so we click on the three dots and we go ahead to merge down. And that just merges those two layers together. So now I can drag this image text wherever I want and I can maybe make it uh, bigger or smaller anything like that. Well, uh, more importantly, what it'll allow you to do is fill this background layer. So if you don't do that, um, you won't be able to really fill your background layer. So I want to take my fill tool now, and I chose the color black. You could do any color you'd like, but I chose black because it'll kind of offer the most contrast. 
And then I want to add one little touch to finish this up, and that is a outer glow. So a little outer glow to the, uh, to the word Alaska here. And so what I want to do is do a filter and then go down to outer glow. And you can change the color of your outer glow if you want. Here you can choose any color for your glow. I'm going to keep it white. Um, you can adjust the size to make your glow bigger, you know, or you can keep it somewhere in the middle. Uh, feathering is going to change the amount of kind of soft, hard, hard to soft um, kind of glow that you have going on. So I kind of like a lot of feather to just kind of make it really kind of like fade into the background. And then, you know, maybe I adjust the size from there, maybe make it a little bigger just because the feather sort of made the glow a little dimmer. And then once we're set with that, we'll hit apply and that's it. So that's how you fill a word or text, maybe a couple of words with an image and then add a little glow effect to it. So you want to make sure that you go to file, save and save your project and get it into your Google Drive and submit for classroom. All right, guys, I so hope you have fun with this lesson and get creative with your own text filled or word or picture filled text. <laughs>